Modus ponens is the direct way of reasoning with conditionals. There's an indirect way that is also commonly used, and it's called modus tollens. This is modus tollens, and it's a valid argument form. The full Latin name is modus tollendo tollens, which means the mode of denying by denying. It refers to the fact that with this conditional form, we're denying the consequent by denying the antecedent. Everyone today just calls it modus tollens. Let's look at that checkmate example. If your king is in checkmate, then you've lost the game. You have not lost the game, therefore your king is not in checkmate. Sounds reasonable. You put in anything for A and B, it works. If the match is lit, then there is oxygen in the room. There is no oxygen in the room, therefore the match is not lit. Now I want to show you an easy way of remembering the form. From the propositional logic course, you might remember that the contrapositive of a conditional is logically equivalent to the conditional. You can always substitute the contrapositive form for the standard form without loss of meaning. If we do this, the argument form looks like this. This is the same argument with the conditional premise written in the contrapositive form. But we should recognize the form of this argument. It's just modus ponens. This is an argument of the form if A then B, A therefore B where the antecedent is not B and the consequent is not A. And since we know that modus ponens is valid, we can see directly that modus tollens must also be valid. So if you're ever confused about how to write modus tollens, just remember that if you rewrite it in terms of the contrapositive, then you should recover an argument that has the form of modus ponens.